Hi, this is John Beener. I'm with Weiss Council, and I am excited to interview Dr. Gil Weiss and talking about the incredible knowledge that he has. He's the, the smartest guy I've ever met in terms of understanding uh, the different foods, the different vitamins, and even pharmaceutical products because he is a pharmacist. Uh, the smartest man I've ever met in that whole area. He's like a walking dictionary, encyclopedia <laughs> on steroids almost. And I've taken a lot of your uh, supplements and your prescriptions, and we've had you speak to wise counsel groups. So that's a lot to say because uh, you're special, in my opinion. We even did an all-natural health conference where you yeah. were one of the keynote speakers recently at the River Club. So. Let me just put a little little phrase in there, John. I didn't I didn't learn this. This was taught when I was one years of age. And so at one, two, three, four, five, I learned things that I wouldn't ordinarily learn if I had been in an American environment. So I was in a German environment. The whole house spoke German. Mm -hmm. But when I went out in the street, like at six, seven, and eight, I realized I was different. Yeah. Because we didn't have milk, we didn't have bread, we didn't have things that they ordinarily had. And my father was trying to show us the way to eat properly and rightly to strengthen the body for anything that might come along. That was it. Mm -hmm. and here we are. Here you are, 85 years old, still chugging along, doing fine, right? So let's get on to the big topic of today anyway. Hopefully it'll be passing soon with the coronavirus. And uh, I know you've had a lot of people come to you and ask for wisdom and what to do and what are the key things they ought to do and what, how can they build their immune system as well as uh, protect themselves from getting the virus. Uh, so what are some of your feedback? What are some of the ideas or suggestions you would give someone? Uh, someone like that that just comes in off the street, what can I do? I, I think I'm, I would like to get the immunity for the coronavirus, I'm, I would say maybe uh, you're a little bit late and you should have started about 30 years ago getting rid of okay. whatever was coming your yeah, way. Your body should be strong enough to protect it. Yeah, you're right? just waking up to the fact that there's other things out here to do for your body to strengthen it. It's called the immune system. And don't tell me that you haven't heard about it because yeah. we've been preaching it for years and years and years. That's true. We don't know what it is. Yeah. And so when you when you start learning the immune system and what it is in the body. It's a very complex system. That system uh, has uh, vegetables in it, has fruits in it, has nuts and seeds and all sorts of things that will uh, give you the neutral nutritional value to give you the antibacterial, the fight inflammations that may come your way. So we have flu vaccine every year. We have I mean, the flu comes to, the t to our country every year. We have various other uh, things that are uh, buzzing around us. The uh, Zika virus years ago. Yeah. And we never thought anything about it until this one. Right. Because this is a, this is a worldwide epidemic or pandemic. And so now we're all scared that we might get it. So what can we do? And I, I would say first thing you want to do is, is build your immune system. And we have many things in the in the health food shops in the, in the United States that say immune system builder or immune system product. Okay. There's usually five or six or ten different yeah. things that you can get. Some are stronger, some are weaker. Mm -hmm. It all depends on what you're looking for. Uh, one good thing would be appropriate if you just used echinacea, E-C-H-I-N-C-E-A, echinacea. It comes in liquid comes in a tincture, which is alcoholic. Mm -hmm. It comes in water. It comes in capsules. It comes in a cream, which we make in the, in the health food shop. Mm -hmm. And there's even a homeopathic echinacea. So these things are... Is that what you take under the tongue? Under the tongue. I've used right, that a lot. Right. Yeah. yeah, they're wonderful. Yeah. And so these things will, will build your immune system very quickly. If you take a, a product that we have called echinacea premium which is high-grade octane uh, echinacea, if you put it in your mouth just to drop, it tingle on your tongue for maybe several minutes okay. because it's so powerful. Wow. So that would be a wonderful thing to start off on. If you don't want to do that, then you can go to a capsule or you can go to a, a liquid or tincture, whatever you'd like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are combinations, echinacea with vitamin C, echinacea with elderberry. 
a connection with golden seal. Okay. And all these things will boost the the uh, immune strength of the uh, of the echinacea and the immune system in my body. So right. you can eat your way through this by getting garlic, by getting uh, various things in the in the immune system area, which would be onions and garlic and ginger, and uh, I can't think of them all right now. But uh, there's probably ten or fifteen things that you would eat per day to get this immune system in my body. Uh, strong enough to fight anything that comes along. Mm -hmm. We very seldom get colds or flus or anything like that. Th yeah. Those things are unknown to us yeah. and coughs and things because our body is very well protected. Yeah, so the average person doesn't have that protection is really what the right. media is telling us and the doctors are telling us. So the immune system in a typical American is not that strong. Correct. Yeah, because they're not eating the right things or not taking there the right nutrients. Go. Yeah. My, I think I've told you a little bit about this. My son-in-law's grandmother died at 107, and we would talk to her and say, "What is it that keeps you so strong?" You know, she'd walk up and down stairs, no big deal, and all that. And she said three things: I take garlic there okay, go. every day. I cook with garlic, and and then second of all, she said I take a, a glass of red wine. Absolutely. Okay. And then I take olive oil. And these are kind of part of the Mediterranean diet. Absolutely. And, and the things that go on in some of these uh, uh, Mediterranean countries right. where there's a lot, they have a lot stronger health than typical Americans anyway. Right. We're, well, garlic would be number one for myself. I, okay. I put a clove in my mouth every day mm -hmm. and just suck on it. I don't chew it. I don't okay. take the paper off. I don't do anything to it. Just leave okay. it in there. Okay. And if I have to have lunch or something, I might have to park it for a little while because if I chew, then I'm going to smell not too good to most people. Okay. I don't, it doesn't bother me. The smell doesn't bother yeah. me. But the, the overall good of the garlic, you ought to get a little, little primer, a little 20, 30-page uh, book on garlic and okay. find out the benefits of garlic is absolutely overwhelming. Yeah. And if absolutely. you look at garlic and, and the onion, those two components are sulfurs. That's okay. why they smell the way they smell. They're, they're sulfur components, mm -hmm. and they are very potent inside the body. If you eat too much of either one of them, it'll come through your skin, and your friends will say, you don't smell so good. <laughs> you need some deodorant, huh? <laughs> or something else to sweeten your smell up a little bit. Okay. So, so obviously you have talked about, of course, wash your hands, stay, keep the distance, all that kind of stuff too, of course, because right. of the coronavirus. But common uh, sense, John. Yeah. Common sense. But the first thing you're really saying is build the immune system, and that, right. that makes so much right. sense because it really it'll protect you not only against that virus, but like you said, the flu or a whole bunch of other things, right? We've got to get ready for next year. <laughs> right. Next year, yeah, right? Won't be uh, Corona. It'll be somebody else. Yeah, that's right. It'll be. There'll be so another. So I want to make an important, uh, uh, what should I say? Announcement, not announcement, okay. but an important distinction, maybe uh, extension of what we're talking about. The immune system is part of it, but the part of the immune system is also an exercise program. I want five minutes, ten minutes per day doing something, getting out of breath, okay. for sure, okay. and eating the right things. The colors are very, very important. Green, red, and yellow, like the traffic light. Mm -hmm. They're colorful because they have something powerful in them. Flavonoids. Yeah, flavonoids, flavonoids that's what it's called, okay. Polyphenols. So one last question about the immune system. I mean, I think probably there are some people out there think that the immune system is an organ, right? Not <laughs> it's an organ. not. It's all over throughout the body. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, is it more central in the mouth or more central in the no, it's just heart, everywhere. lungs? Every okay. It's everywhere. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so we have to be aware of what these things are and how to get them uh, put in the body properly at the right amount, and to do that. You must have a little bit of education. You could go to a health food store and get some person there to help you or some some book that would give you a little... Or they could come to you and yeah, do a you consultation, right? You come to me right? and do a consultation, and I'll give you, I'll give you the lowdown because I know what they are. There's a couple right. of bottles that I use, and uh, one of them is Nature's Plus. It has it written on there. It says garlic, echinacea, onion, schizandra, ligustrum, 
or bushes out in the front. Uh, Pouty Arco is one that's very powerful, colds and flus, and right now you should be perhaps on Echinacea and Pouty Arco if you're really worried about it. Somebody in your family has it, or if you're really worried about your immune system and the way it's playing out for you in the years gone by, then you may be very weak. If you're having the shingles right now, many people are getting the shingles because their immune system is so low. Right. They're so stressed out yeah. because of what's happening. They, they're, they're worried about the coronavirus, but they, they lay in bed with shingles. Yeah. So that's not good. Not good at all, right. 